What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach, Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys aren't a subscriber already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up on this video. So today, I'm gonna be transforming our media room, pool table room, into an actual usable space where I can look at products, um, do reviews, things like that for you guys. This space has been really um, kind of not used. Um, it's been an area where we just throw a bunch of our son's extra toys and things. You can hear it off in the background right now. Um, but it's, it's a mixed feeling, you know? The pool table was really fun and we'd have company in town, but um, we feel like with our son, he's one and a half right now, um, being able to have the carpet to play on, as well as me be able to use the space for YouTube, um, it's kind of a no-brainer. Um, pool tables got to go. So guys, I want you to give me some ideas as to things that you would like to see in this space. It's less than ideal, um, to say the least. This is just an open space, lots of windows. Uh, so not, not really the best area for a dedicated home theater, but a lot of you guys out there don't have dedicated home theaters. So I figured it'd be a good opportunity to um, show you guys what Dream Media does every single day for their customers. Look at solutions and things that you can do. So if you guys would like to purchase anything home theater related, make sure to reach out and share your support. We ship throughout the entire nation and would love the opportunity to earn your business. All right, guys, let's get into it. All right, guys, so this is the space that I'm talking about before. You can see we have the pool table here, which we never use. So the guys are here to take it apart. We're gonna do a nice big couch and then talk about options for AV. Get rid of these two TVs up on the wall. So check it out. This is the space that we have to work with. My wife ordered a couple chairs and this kind of got the the whole idea started because our son likes to play up here with all his toys and we needed a place to sit but then we we're like why do we have this pool table that we never use let's get rid of it and make this into just a lounge area so instead of a couple tvs for sports we're gonna put probably an ultra short throw projector up but i'm debating on if we should do a standard screen or an alr screen just because I wanna be able to also do other shootouts for you guys on standard projectors, I'm not just ultra short throw. So I'm kind of on the fence there as to what I'm doing for video up here. And I already have the Screen Innovation shades up here, which I'll show you in just a second, that um, will completely knock out the room. So I don't really need an ALR screen. But um, options for speakers are pretty limited. This is just distributed audio that was wired from my builder going back to our home run in our rack room. So basically I'm gonna have to run everything fresh for this room if I wanna do a full surround sound system. I'm gonna try to fit like at the bare minimum like a 5.1.2 or I'd like to do like a 7.2.4 but you can see, I mean, look at these ceilings. It's just not ideal. So I want you guys to help me out, you know, drop some comments down below. Let me know your thoughts. I'm gonna show you these shades real quick. They're pretty sweet. This is something Dream Media sells as well. So I was kind of on the fence when we initially did the whole house shades um, as to what I wanted to do in this room, light filtering or a blackout. And because I did blackout, I think that's another reason I'm kind of leaning towards making this into a media room, theater room. You can see in the hallway we have light filtering. All right, so I just wanna show you guys with all the lights off, kind of the lighting situation that I'm dealing with here. A lot better. Definitely not a dedicated space, but pretty dang good. 
Honestly, I wish I would have done knockout on the stairs here, but I can always add in an additional shade from SI. These nano shades are just sweet. If you guys haven't seen these before, it's pretty cool stuff. Um, you know, the Lutron shades have kind of been our go-to for years. Well, these I fell in love with, the aesthetic. One thing I really like about these screen innovation shades is that they don't require the batteries. You guys know that we've been doing those Lutrons for a while and they require those huge, big, deep batteries. Well, these guys, check it out. They have these little magnetic charging ports right there. So if your house isn't hardwired for shades, this makes maintaining them a breeze. Not to mention you can get any fabric you'd like, like these. This will actually help with the acoustics in the space because it's an actual fabric, kind of like having panels up on the wall because glass is about the worst material that you can have in a theater space. But look at how clean the cassettes are too. You can get them in any color you want and they're really clean and modern looking. Check it out. All right, guys, so that is a wrap on the quick walkthrough of this media space, flex space that I have here at my house in Colorado. This is not like my Texas house where I have a dedicated room built for a theater room. So I think a lot of my customers around the country um, are struggling with rooms like this. How do you make this into your dream home theater? Well, drop the comments down below, guys, and let's talk. I'm going to be thinking through all the different options here, as well as um, talking with Techno Dad. I'm going to drop his channel link right here. You guys should go over and check his channel out. Um, he actually doesn't have a dedicated theater space either, but is really passionate about home theater and audio video. So me and him were talking through this room that I have, and he's like, yeah, I think that brings a lot of value um, to your customers having a space that's not dedicated because there are so many of our clients out there that are looking to have a media room, but they're like, can I do it? Yes, you can. We have you covered here at Dream Media. So if you guys would like to purchase anything home theater related, make sure to reach out and share your support. We would love the opportunity to create your dream home theater within your budget and make sure to maximize the potential of the system. All right, guys. Well, that's all I got for you. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below. Uh, make sure to head over to the Dream Media website too and check out all of our industry-leading manufacturers that we have to offer, as well as our five-star reviews. All right, guys, till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.